hello everyone welcome to my channel we have started the mass transfer limitation in the reacting system which is the chapter number 14 uh, uh, in the book of element of chemical reaction engineering written by fogler it is the fifth edition uh, the fifth edition and uh, these topics are from the chapter number 14 and the chapter number 14 is related to the mass transfer limitation in the reacting system in the previous lecture we have discussed about the um, cartesian coordinate system we have derived the right equation in the rectangular coordinate system or the cartesian coordinate system in this lecture we will discuss about the molar flux now the what is the molar flux the what is the meaning of molar flux so molar flux is the nothing but it is the mole which are passing through a uh, unit area in unit time so it is nothing but the mole which are passing through unit area in unit time so it is called the molar flux now the molar flux uh, are denoted by in the previous lecture we have discussed that the molar flux are related by the molar flow rate by an equation which is fa the molar flow rate of component a is equal to the molar flux of component a and the area through which the area through which uh, and the perpendicular area through which the component a is transferring so this is the molar flow rate the unit of molar flow rate is mole per unit time and you can see this is the mole per unit area per unit time and this is the perpendicular area its unit is suppose it is meter square so this is cancelled with this so the molar flow rate is related by the molar with molar flux by w a into a is equal to f a so this is the molar flux w a is the molar flux w a is the molar molar flux now the molar flux are uh, uh, the molar flux are molar flux is denoted by w a and there are two types of flux in uh, complex system so there are two type of fluxes one is the diffusional fluxes the diffusional fluxes the molar the molar fluxes are further divided are par further divided did into the two fluxes one is the diffusional fluxes diffusional fluxes diffusional fluxes and the second one is the flux which are resulting from the bulk flow so fluxes resulting from bulk flow bulk flow so these diffusional fluxes are due to the concentration gradient and these are uh, are the fluxes in the flowing system in the convective transport these are the fluxes in the convective transport system so these are the the molar flux are further divided are further divided did into the two of uh, fluxes one is the diffusional fluxes one is the diffusional fluxes and the second one is the one is the the molar flux which is denoted by w a w a the molar flux uh, it is further divided into the diffusional flux the diffusional flux is denoted by j a the diffusional flux is of component a and the flux is resulting from the bulk flow uh, of component a is denoted by uh, it is denoted by mm, this is j a and this is by b a suppose this is the b a bulk flow resulting from the bulk flow so the molar flux is further divided into the diffusional flux plus the mm, flux, uh, flux resulting from the bulk flow so it is b a now this j a can be obtained from the uh, fixed law of molecular diffusion fixed law of molecular diffusion so the fixed law about suppose the molar flux of component a is equal to minus the diffusivity of a in b change in the concentration of a in the z direction so this is the flux of a this can be obtained from the fixed law of molecular diffusion 
and this is the flux resulting from the bulk flow so this can be obtained from the bulk flow system this ba now the bulk flow uh, the flux resulting from the bulk flow can further be written as ba which is equal to the uh, the mole fraction of component a into summation of component i is equal to 1 up to n into w i so if there are two components component a is diffusing in component b then the b a the molar flux resulting from the bulk flow will be written as w a and to component a w a and w flux of component a plus flux of component b and to the mole fraction of component a now we know that W A the flux of component A is equal to the velocity of component A and the concentration of component A and the flux of component B is equal to the velocity of component B and to the concentration of component B. So put these two equation in this equation number one. So we will get B A is equal to Y A and U A into C A plus U B into C B. Suppose this is equation number two. Now, this is equation number two. Now we know that. Uh, so this is equation number two. Now we know that mm, that uh, C A can be written as the concentration of component A and the uh, total concentration C. The concentration of component B can be written as Y B concentration of component B into the total concentration this small c is the total concentration so uh, in place of C A we can write this one in place of C B we can write this one so B A equation number 2 can be written as Y A U A in place of C A I am writing Y A into C in place of C B I am writing Y B into C so this C is common out this C and this C will come out from the brackets. So it will be Y A and 2 C U A Y A plus U B Y B is equal to B A. So the flux resulting from bulk flow. Now we know that the velocity of component is equal to U A the total velocity is equal to the velocity of component A and the velocity due to component B. So, in place of this we will write total velocity. So, this will be Y A and 2 C and this is the total velocity. Now, the Y A and 2 C is nothing but C A. So, this is the C A and 2 U is equal to B A. This is equation number 3. Now, the pro from the above equation which was the flux which was W A is equal to J A plus B A. So, this is J A and in place of B A we can write this one C A and 2 U which is the molar flux. So, this is the final molar flux uh, equation. So, similarly in place of J A we can write the Peck's law. So, W A is equal to minus D A B D C A divided by D Z plus C A into U. So, we can also write the molar flux in this form. So, this lecture was about the molar flux the molar flux one flux was uh, diffusional flux and the other flux was the the mm, convective or the flux resulting from the bulk flow so the total is uh, w a this is the total flux so this was just introduction to the molar flux in the coming lecture we will discuss about the mm, molar flux we will discuss about the convective transport etc. Thank you very much for your attention.